Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on learning and organizational behavior. Before we start the video, it's a humble request. Please subscribe to my channel so that whenever I come up with any video, you will directly get the notification. Now, without any further delay, let's come to the video. Learning. Learning and organizational behavior is the process through which individual acquire new knowledge, skills, attitudes, and behaviors that are relevant to their roles within an organization. Learning plays a crucial role in employee development, uh, performance improvement, and overall organizational effectiveness. Learning is the process by which individuals acquire knowledge and experience to be applied in future reaction to situations. Learning refers to this modification of behavior, practice, training, and experience. So here we can say learning may be defined as a relatively permanent change in behavior that occur as a result of prior experience. As, uh, as soon as they get to know or they gather more experience, they go through training, they go through learning process, they acquire new and uh, new new skills, knowledge, attitudes and behavior. So this is why learning plays a very important role within an organization because it enhances the productivity, attitude, skills, attitudes, uh, I mean uh, um, knowledge of the employee working within an organization. As uh, we always see, after uh, meaning, we always uh, have uh, we always look uh, for definition given by author. But as you can see, the definition is a bit long. If you want, you can write it down, and if you can't, then you can uh, just write one definition and you can just move to the next part. So after definition, let's see the nature of learning in organizational behavior. First, we have it's a continuous process. Learning and organization behavior is an ongoing and lifelong process. It doesn't stop once an individual completes formal education, but continues throughout their career. So what we understand it, it's a continuous process after completing uh, the study. You can't say that uh, here we stop learning. No. As soon as you go to one company, you get to know uh, how the work uh, goes. Maybe they have a different way of doing things. You learn something when you move to another company or you get a uh, upgrade, you learn different things. So it's a continuous process. Even after your uh, qualification, I mean, even after your school, college or uh, your institutional exams finishes, then also you continue learning. Maybe you continue learning new knowledge, skills, behaviors, or attitude. Second, adaption. Learning helps individuals adapt to changes in the workplace, such as new technologies, processes, or job responsibilities. As we all know, adaptation is very important in any organization because uh, according to the change in demand and need of customer, we often bring new technologies or new strategies. And to cope up with that, we adapt the situation. Maybe we adapt the new technologies. Maybe we were, we were working on old one and now is the time to bring new ones so that it can uh, uh, save our time and increase our productivity and so on. So what we can say is, Adaptation, where individual learn how to adapt with the changes in the workplace. Third, individual and collective. Learning can occur at both the individual and collective group or organizational levels. Individuals learn uh, on their own and organization can facilitate uh, collective learning through knowledge sharing and training programs. For example, when you go into uh, any organization, you see what your colleagues are doing, what your uh, uh, group members are doing. And according to that, uh, you learn how they are doing the things, how they're solving the things. And sometime when you enter into a new organization, you go through a training program so that you will already be learning 
what to do, how to do so that in the future, even if you are going to make any mistake, just because of that training and development program, you learn certain skill so that in the future, you will not do that mistake. So there are two type of things. One, you learn by your own self, by seeing your environment, by seeing your uh, fellow mates. And second, when organization provide you a training program. Okay. Four, collective and behavioral. Learning encompasses cognitive aspect, acquiring knowledge and understanding as well as behavioral aspect, developing skills and changing behavior. Okay. Cognitive aspect is like um, acquiring knowledge and understanding. Maybe you are unaware of certain situation, how to deal with that situation. But just because you see how your team leader or how your seniors are handling it, you learn. Okay, we can also do this way. Maybe you don't know how to make the sheet. But by seeing your superior or your other uh, colleague, you learn. So here you are learning. It's called cognitive. Okay. Uh, behavioral aspect, developing skill, changing behaviors. Maybe uh, you are very talkative. Maybe you, you don't know how to control your emotions. Uh, maybe you talk negative and others go and do the complaints. So your reputation goes um, down in front of your seniors. Okay, so day by day you start learning that I should not open my mouth too much in front of others because Everyone seems to be friend, but they are not. So there are so many things which you learn as the time passes with your experience, with the situations and so on. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it uh, informative and engaging. Remember to subscribe to my channel and please click on notification bell and join our uh, community by clicking on the join button so that you can access my uh, extra features such as PPT, notes, syllabus help or uh, get help with your case study, question and answers and many more. So don't forget to check that out. I'm excited to have you here and can't wait to share more more exciting contents like this. Very soon I will be here with more interesting videos. Till then, have a nice day. Bye.